Hello everyone, it's Cassie and welcome back to my channel for another YouTube video. Today we are going to be doing a video hop with Trinity. It's the Trinity Stamps Warm and Cozy Holiday Release and we're celebrating with a video hop. So before we get into that, let's talk about what we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using the Shake Your Merry Maker stamp set, this darling little Santa, and it comes with these little matching dies sold separately. I love that there is um, one that goes around the words as well. We're also going to be using the Slimline Twist and Slide die. That's brand new. Good for your interactive cards. And we're also going to be using the Room Builder die. This is not new, but it is awesome. I went ahead and stamped out my images onto some Expressit cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I cut out the panel that I needed for later. So there it is, using that Room Builder die, and I also cut out a couple pieces that are going to be rugs. All right, so let's get right into our coloring. I'm going to put all the colors up on the screen, and while I'm coloring, I'm going to talk a little bit about our hop. So this hop is, like I said, it's a video hop. There's a lot of wonderful people that you're going to want to go check out. I'm going to have the next person linked down below that you're going to want to head to. But there is a prize up for grabs, and the best way that you can get that is to comment on all of the videos. So take a look at all of them. Check out the different things that people are making with the new stuff that is now available in the Trinity Stamps store. And you'll, I mean, I think you're gonna be very inspired by what you see today. All right, so back to our card. I just love this little Santa. I um, have made a couple cards. Well, this is the second card that I've made with it as soon as I got the stamp set. I could not help myself because I love how he's got so much motion to him. You know, there's just so many different things I feel like you could do with him. and you. I mean, yes, I'm coloring him red like the traditional Santa, but I think you could go crazy and do all kinds if you really, really wanted to. My vision of like maybe having all these Santas stamped out using different skin tones and different colors of Santa costumes and stuff, and they're all at a rave. Would that not be hilarious? Like all these Santas dancing around at a rave? <laughs> Almost like, you know, Elvis at Vegas or something. <laughs> Anyway, I just had that little thought. Um, but yeah, I feel like with all the movement that he has going on, there's just a lot that you can do. So I'm going to show you this interactive card. And then um, I have a different interactive card out already that uh, I, I made earlier. And I don't show it in this video, but it uses an action wobbler. So I can tell you right now that that was a super fun one. So now we're doing the disco ball. That's our last little thing to do. And I'm keeping most things with fairly harsh lines. I didn't really do any blending out. I just really liked that look this time around. And we're gonna tack down all of the matching dies. You can see I have a little piece of silver glitter cardstock that I cut out the little outline with and I put some glue behind that one. And we're gonna tack it down to our disco ball that I colored. So that way we've got some good dimension and then that silver is just really, really silvery. So there it is. And then we're going to start kind of doing some ink blending, but I want to see where I'm doing that. So I have my disco ball on there. I'm going to start with some squeezed lemonade and I'm using my Trinity Blender Buddies to do this. So I've got uh, squeezed lemonade, then we moved on to some fossilized amber just around it. I wanted to make it look like there was a little bit of glow coming from the disco ball. And then we're going to move on to hickory smoke. Our background's going to be very dark because, I mean, I've never, I've been to school dances. I've never been to like clubs or anything like that. So I don't know what those are actually like. Uh, but I, I mean, I remember from school dances, there was usually like a disco ball or something like that. And the room was very dark. So I was planning to do a very dark room. So we're going to start with the hickory smoke so that we're getting out some, you know, it gets a little light and then it goes into dark. And here I am putting down a little bit of purple tape. Y'all know I don't really care for purple tape, but I have it and I'm just going to use it. And it ends up biting me in the rear here in a minute, but I'm going to work around it. It's just, it'll be what it'll be. I know there are other options, but I guess I'm one of those people that I'm like, well, I bought it, dang it, so I'm going to use it. And so um, I did like it in the beginning. It's just sometimes it just grabs my paper and tears it and it drives me f just crazy. So um, I get done with my black soot and here you see as I try to pull the way the tape, it started to tear. So I pulled it the other way and yes, it did tear, but we're just gonna work with it because I am not recutting this. And uh, so now I'm coming in with more hickory smoke. I wanted the ground to be a little lighter than the, the room. And there's the panel all done. You can see the rips, it is what it is. And then I'm gonna bring in some uh, crushed olive for one of the rug pieces. And then we're gonna bring in some mowed lawn for the other one. You could just use colored cardstock, but I was already on that kick of blending. And so I figured we'd just stick with it. 
then you can add some variation in that, in that when you do it that way. I'll, I'll attach the rug pieces together. I won't attach it to the panel just yet, but there is the little rug, and that's going to fit right over the top of what I tore, so it, you really won't be able to see it when all is said and done. So I guess where it tore is just, I mean, it's better. It, it could have been worse, is all I'm saying. I'll take one of my little Santas, and I'm going to kind of try to see where I want this to be cut out. This is again from that slimline twist and slide die. I'm using the straight one because I want there to be a channel so you can just dance across the page. And I took the little circle die from there and I cut out one, but afterwards I end up cutting out several more. I'm going to end up cutting three for the, the mechanism and a couple more later. My card base was cut down to seven inches by eight and a half inches and scored at three and a half inches. So it will be a top folding, a two size card, the long way there. And if I had been thinking, I would have glued down my little gray piece that was cut out first, but I didn't, so we'll just have to work around that. I put this in my makeshift splatter box, and then I'm splattering some, like, a pixie dust kind of stuff over that background so that there's some splatter, because, you know, if you've been in the room with a disco ball, there's usually a lot of sparkle on the walls as it goes around in circles. So I thought that would be really fun, and I do have to heat set that so that I can move on to the next part, which is gluing down the rug. So now our rug is in place, all is well there, it covers up my, my tear, and you know, I'm, I'm good with that. Now I'm going to put some foam tape on the back. This is doubled up foam tape, uh, and I am just making sure that I stay, give my, a lot of room for my channel to be able to move around. So you can see that there's a good amount of space around my opening. So here's where I have those three little dots. That's one of the dies from that slimline twist and slide die. And I put three of them together so it would have a little bit of weight. And here's where I was like, ah, if I'd been thinking. Uh, but it is what it is. So we'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of our long piece. And you I, you do want to keep that piece because it makes the piece feel completely cohesive. If it were white back there, it would just really be glaring. So I glue that down inside of there. And then I put my little circle tab behind. And then I'm going to take two foam squares. I'm going to put those on top of each other and then this will still give plenty of room for that to move around but then I'm going to stick my sand on top so then he can move back and forth. Well he seems a little bit light. You could put like a penny or something behind him or in my case I'm going to take two more of those little white discs and put those on top of each other and then I'll put those behind Santa. Just glue those behind so that he has a little bit of weight on his head it doesn't make that much of a difference but it does add a little bit of weight so that it does move a little bit easier Next step is just to glue down our little sentiment, which says, shake your merrymaker. I love that. Oh my goodness. And then I also do have to glue down my disco ball. So we're going to put some glue behind that and attach that over where the glowing is. And then now we can peel off all the release paper on the back of our foam tape. And then we'll attach that down to the front of our card. Before I do that, though, I decide I didn't trust myself. So I thought I would put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of it. So that way I'd have a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, by putting that glue on the foam tape, otherwise it'll just stick right to it. So this does give me a little bit, and then, um, not a lot, but a little bit. So I'm able to put that down on top, and then just make sure that it's good and straight. And then I'll grab the Santa that I have left, and I'll put him on the inside. And then I'll put the other disco ball on the inside. For a second I thought about adding the sentiment, but I was like, I already have that on the outside. So I'm going to save that sentiment for another card, because I promise you I'll be using this again. But there he is. He does little somersaults. He flips around. He dances. He is definitely shaking his merrymaker. Now, like I said, this is a part of a video hop, so I'll have all the information down below in the description box. Just hit that little arrow and you'll get all the information. And be sure to hop along and comment so that you have a chance to win that gift card. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.